In this video, we're going to look at setting up plugins such as VSTs. We'll look at how to organize them into our own menus and how to change their configuration. We looked at the VST preferences page earlier, and this is a more detailed extension to that. The plugin manager can either be accessed from the utilities menu and selecting the Cakewalk plugin manager option, or via the browser from the plugin tabs and selecting Manage Layouts. Either way, we end up with the Cakewalk Plugin Manager open. Here you'll see the categories to the left, and clicking on one of those categories will show the registered plugins in the category in the middle display list. If the plugin does not show in this window, it's not been registered correctly or has perhaps been excluded. To see if there are any excluded plugins, select that option from the choices here towards the bottom left corner. For example, I have some excluded 32-bit VSTs that I also have 64-bit versions of. If you wish to exclude a plugin, switch to the Enable Plugin view, select the plugin from the Registered Plugins list, and then click on the Exclude Plugin button. You can always re-enable it later by switching to the Show Excluded view, selecting it, and then using the same button that has now changed its function to Enable Plugin. The Cakewalk Plugin Presets area can be used to import, export, and manage presets for various plugins. For example, selecting the Sonatus Compressor from the DirectX Audio Effects list, enables these options. Clicking on Import opens a file browser to import any presets that you may have. Export will allow you to export any existing presets. And Manage will open a window where presets can be renamed or deleted. The VST configuration area at the bottom is where we set the options for VST scanning. Click on the Options button to reveal the scan path and options that we briefly looked at earlier in the Preference settings, all being a different window. To add any additional paths that you wish to scan, click on the Add button. You can then browse to the folder you wish to scan and click on OK. Remove will remove any highlighted scan paths. Folder defaults allows you to set default settings for the folders. Here is where you can set whether the plugins are enabled, how they are configured, whether delay compensation is enabled or not, and also if a 32-bit plug on a 64-bit system uses Bitbridge or Jbridge. Jbridge is a third-party utility for managing 32-bit plugins, and you'll need to purchase it and install it to use it. We'll look at how to change individual VST settings shortly. Reset All will reset all VST plugins to the folder defaults. We choose here whether to rescan failed plugins or existing plugins or not when a scan is run. Under normal circumstances, these are best left unchecked unless you have had problems registering a plugin or it has been reinstalled, in which case turning these options on will force the scanner to rescan them. If the Scan on Startup setting in the main preferences page is checked, it is especially important to make sure that Rescan Existing Plugins is not checked. If it is, the startup scan will slow down Sona's load time. Once the settings are how you want them, click on OK. To set the individual settings for each VST, highlight the VST from the Registered Plugins window, and then select Plugin Properties. This opens a similar settings window to the folder version, but any changes made here will only apply to the currently selected plugin. A scan can be run manually by clicking the Scan VST Plugins button. To the right is the menu construction area, and menus can be created, deleted, and saved here. Click on the New icon to create a blank empty menu, and then click on the required plugin in the list. To add it to the menu, click on Add Plugin. 
Multiple choices can be added at once by using the standard Windows click and then Shift or Control click to make multi selections. Once more, click on the Add plugin and all of those selected get added. A new menu folder or separator can be added by clicking on the relevant button. Once a folder has been created, existing plugins can be dragged into it or added directly from the registered plugin list by making sure it's highlighted before adding a plug. Menu items can also be dragged around using the icon to the left. And once you have your menu set up, you can then save it by entering a name for it in the layout file name box at the top and clicking save. Existing menus can be edited here using exactly the same tools. Select the menu you want to edit from the list. There are buttons for expanding, collapsing and sorting menus. And right clicking on the menu edit area will reveal more options again for creating, deleting folders, as well as sorting individual folders alphabetically and renaming folders and VSTs if you wish. Once you've finished editing your menus and arranging your plugins, you can click on close.